There are still some concerns over the draft bill on the Constitution Amendment for Tobago self-government. The document was presented to members of the public on Sunday at a meeting chaired by the Tobago House of Assembly's Chief Secretary, Orville London. Mr. London described the four-year process of reaching to this point as highly consultative, but some residents still have issues with a few of the clauses. Patricia Nicholson has the details. Even after four years of consultations by the Forum of Political Parties, lawyers appointed to deal with the Constitution Amendment Bill for Tobago Self-Government are now tasked with making some more changes. This following concerns raised about the bill by members of the public who attended the final meeting at the Lowlands Community Center on Sunday. My contention is that Section 11 is an offensive section. It is not to be Gunian. I cannot see the chief secretary, whoever she or he is, reporting to cabinet after you have already made it clear that section 75 has been amended where they shall no longer, as the section was or as still exists, but to be changed where there's a coming for Trinidad and Tobago. Another man sought clarity on the regular meetings to be held between the Chief Secretary and the President of the Republic. He suggested it be clearly stated in the Constitution. I would suggest that just as how we have a provision for regular meetings between the Prime Minister and the President, I think it should be stipulated how this keeping the president abreast should take place. Chairman of the Dr. Eric Williams Memorial Committee, Reginald Bidal, felt Tobago should become fully independent of Trinidad. In his view, the island can stand on its own. Tobago is ready for its independence. And I do not think the time should be wasted. If you are satisfied that you have reached adulthood and you want to go now on your own, I think Trinidad should allow Tobago to go on its own. Chief Secretary over London responded to Mr. Vidal's statements, reminding him about the four-year process where Tobagonians were given many chances to say exactly what they wanted. And the people of Tobago have spoken. They have spoken consistently and they have spoken firmly that what they do not want is independence. That is what we have got after four years, and I made the point, we did not come here expecting unanimity. But, and we did not come here to foist our opinions on the people of Tobago. We came here to share with you what the people of Tobago have been telling us for the past four years. Mr. London said the final document should be ready to go before the House of Assembly in a week's time before being taken to Cabinet. It's his hope that everything would go smoothly and be completed before the dissolution of the THA before the end of the year to make way for the THA elections early next year. I'm Patricia Nicholson for CNews.